Thank you for selecting a quick trench earth saw for your trenching needs. When used properly, the quick trench will quickly and efficiently dig shallow trenches up to a depth of 8, 10, or 12 inches, depending on the model. This video is intended to complement the operator's manual and the instructions given by the rental center. If you are unclear of any procedure, consult the manual, call your rental center, or give us a call at 409-327-3121. Your complete satisfaction is our goal. Before you do any digging, it is imperative that you first call your local utility or digger's hotline 48 to 72 hours before digging to have underground utilities marked. At best, the inadvertent severing of underground lines, cables, or pipes can be costly. At worst, coming into contact with buried power lines can cause serious bodily injury, severe burns, or electrocution. Now that you know where it's safe to dig, make sure you're properly dressed for the job. Sturdy non-skid footwear is preferred, and safety glasses should always be worn while the quick trench is in operation. Avoid loose fitting or torn clothing that could get caught in rotating parts. Your rental center should have already performed the following pre-start checks, but it's a good idea to verify that everything is in good running order. Check the engine crankcase oil level before each use. All Honda engines are equipped with an oil alert system, which will prevent starting if the oil level is too low. Verify that all safety shields are securely in place. Check for loose hardware and tighten as necessary. After removing the spark plug wire, inspect the cutter wheel to verify that no cutting teeth are damaged or missing. Never move the cutter wheel without first removing the spark plug wire as accidental engine startup can occur. Before starting the engine, make sure the fuel tank is filled with fresh gasoline, having a minimum octane level of 87. If any fuel is spilled, wipe it up immediately. Verify the cutting blade is in the up or transport position by turning the crank handle clockwise until the indicator reaches the T on the depth gauge. If you want to dig a straight trench, lock the rear swivel wheel. Verify that the spark plug wire is attached to the spark plug. Turn the engine control knob to the on position and place the fuel shutoff lever in the open position. Place the choke control lever in the choke position and the throttle in the low or idle position. Pull the recoil rope until the engine starts. Then slowly move the choke control lever to the off position. Let the engine warm up for a couple of minutes. Then move the throttle all the way to the fast or wide open position. Stand behind the push handle and lower the trencher by turning the crank handle counterclockwise to the desired depth as shown on the depth gauge. Push the quick trench forward at a steady, even pace, letting the cutting blade do the cutting. Do not try and force the machine, as pushing too fast may cause the blade to bog down. Make sure that bystanders are at least 10 feet away from the work area. If obstacles are encountered, stop pushing and let the engine come back to full speed before moving forward again. It may be necessary to raise the cutter blade to clear the object. Once past the object, lower the cutting blade to the desired depth and proceed. The quick trench is equipped with a slip clutch that will stall out the engine if you strike an immovable object. When operating the quick trench, remember to follow sound safety practices. Always keep hands and feet away from the rotating blades. If you need to leave the work area, turn off the engine and wait for all moving parts to stop. Never leave a running machine unattended. Never run the engine inside a building or enclosed area. Exhaust gases contain carbon monoxide, an odorless and deadly poison. Never trench in solid rock or concrete. 
never operate on steep slopes. The quick trench could overturn and cause bodily injury. And never transport the machine to and from the worksite while the engine is running. Your rental center will perform routine maintenance on the quick trench to assure optimum performance. However, you should be aware of certain conditions that could lead to less than ideal performance. If the engine fails to start, make sure that both the on-off switch and the fuel valve are in the on position and that there is fuel in the fuel tank. Also verify that the spark plug wire is attached to the spark plug. Honda engines are equipped with an oil alert system which will prevent starting if the oil level is too low. Check the oil level and add oil as recommended by your rental center. If you notice excessive vibration during operation, the problem could be caused by one of several factors. The pulleys may be damaged or out of alignment. The shaft may be bent or the cutting teeth may be damaged or missing. If any of these conditions are observed, turn off the engine and return the quick trench to the rental store for a complete diagnosis and repair. In some soils, such as wet, sticky clay, it may be necessary to periodically clean the cutter wheel and the underside of the shroud. Remember to always disconnect the spark plug wire before moving the cutter wheel. If the blade easily binds or stops, contact your rental store for advice. Repair or adjustment may be required. Transporting the quick trench in a truck or on a trailer can be done safely if the following precautions are observed. Never transport the quick trench while the engine is running. Move the fuel shutoff valve to the off position. Properly secure the quick trench to the truck or trailer with ropes or straps to prevent the machine from moving while in transport. When unloading the quick trench, take care not to drop the machine as damage to the body or frame may result. You're now ready to begin trenching. Little Beaver, the manufacturers of the Quick Trench Earth Saw, also manufactures the world-famous Little Beaver earth drills and augers, featuring the patented torque tube. Little Beaver manufactures a full line of mechanical and hydraulic earth drills that are ideal for setting fence posts, decks, signs, or horizontal drilling under sidewalks and driveways. 